Okay, so, yeah, pretty much we're going to be doing a live reaction to the brand new Blood of the Dead trailer. I wasn't expecting anything to drop, like, especially since the game's only, like, you know, like a day or so away, but, hey, it dropped, and it's five minutes long. Now, hopefully this is better than the 9 trailer. I personally wasn't a fan of the 9 trailer or the gameplay one anyways. I thought it was boring, but you know what? We're going to get right into this, and, yeah, hopefully we don't get demonetized, even though it will. But, yeah, let's get into this. And I have watched about 20 seconds of it, just to make sure audio was good, but... Okay, so... Looks good, we already saw a lot of this. Now this is interesting right here. You know, looks pretty much the same. I think some of it might be underwater, but it looks mainly the same. Spawn, we saw that. It looks the same. Okay, that is new right there. Okay, we haven't saw this either. This reminds me of Origins. So this is new too. Okay. So we're seeing a lot of new stuff. Now obviously, you know, we saw this at the end of the first trailer we got about two months ago, but I mean, it looks pretty much the same, except there's, you know, obviously there's some different parts. Okay, that's good that we saw that. Just to make sure uh, we have a decent high-res image, like last time. Okay, so that's the same. This, I think, I believe this, yeah, this is different. This is definitely different. Okay, real quick, let me go back. I'm just going to pause this a little bit. Right here, you see where my mouse is. Is that something? I don't know. I'm guessing we're we'll to have to stand on that or do something. Maybe like how it is in Shangri-La where if the stand, you know, the stuff to open, you know, pack punch. Maybe it's something like that. I don't know. Okay. So this is the same. This is like where the Hell's Retriever is. Okay, this is new. I, I haven't saw this before. Okay, that's the same. I th yeah, I think this is where the hell is. Okay, yeah, this is different. Yeah, this entire part of the map is different. I think that, yeah, I think that's like where the, um... Oh, jeez. Okay, so that's the bunker. So, okay. That's a new gun right there. Nice little revolver. Okay, so yeah, that's where we can get the blunder gap from the table. Yeah, this is the same. This is like where the Tommy gun is. Ooh, nice little shotgun over here. Is that pretty sure that's a trench gun? Okay, so we're gonna be able to go on the bridge. Okay. Okay, you know what? This is a gameplay trailer, or I don't even know. If, no, it's not a gameplay trailer, but we're seeing the Cronorium. This is three days before the game came out, or two days. Yeah, we're two days away from the game, and we're already seeing the Cronorium. I mean. I'm telling you, this is going to be a good map. Let me just say that. Okay, Sal's hat. Or, I mean, the weasel's hat. Okay. Okay. Is this a new area? I think this might be a new area. Wait. Okay. I, I saw people talk about this. Apparently... Okay, so yeah, the Wi-Fi adapter for my PC is complete junk, and it just got overloaded. So yeah, we're gonna try this again. I'll just edit it all together and make it as a video, I guess. Okay, so yeah, that's a new part of the map. Okay, okay. There you go, Blundergat. So that's back. I mean, we already kind of knew about it, but... Okay. I'm telling you, this reminds me... What was... Oh, okay. Okay, this... You guys, oh, it looks like the locust is back, or like a variant of that. Looks like KSG. <gasps> Wait, <laughs> I'll go back. What? Okay, flamethrower, death machine. Oh my, the guns in this. Okay. Okay, this is the new Blundergat everyone was talking about. Apparently there's like a new like fire Blundergat or something like that. So, I think that would ex that's probably what we have to do. And we ended off how we ended off the last one. Okay. That was a fantastic trailer. 
Okay, that's the best zombies trailer I've ever saw. Okay, I said that about the first Blood of the Dead one. I believe I said that about the first Blood of the Dead trailer. I said that was the greatest trailer we've ever gotten for zombies. But nope, this one's way better. This is the best one we've ever saw. Easily. So, right here. Pretty much, I believe there was a leak. I don't think it was leaked. I don't know if Treyarch officially confirmed it or what. I saw it all over Reddit a few days ago. Pretty much, there's going to be another Blundergat variant. So, you know, usually we have the normal Blundergat. And then, you know, we have the Acid Gat. And apparently there's going to be, like, a Fire Blundergat. I believe, and I'm guessing this pretty much confirms it. I thought it was just going to be... I thought this was just, like, a random storyline thing. Like how the Grod Crovey cutscene was a few years ago. But no, look, I believe this is probably something that will actually happen. Now, if we go back a little bit. So, yeah, Flamethrower right here. This is like a Mauser, I believe, or it's a variant of it. If you played Battlefield 1, it's like a Mauser, but it's a little bit different. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, I think it's called the C96 or something like that. I don't know. I can look it up real quick. It's like a variant of the Mauser. So it's like, this is just a normal Mauser. It's like, where is it at? It's this one right here. I think that's the right one. Yeah, so, Prince, this is the C96 Carmine. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is right here. The only difference is that this, you know, has a bigger, you know, magazine. Has a, you know, like a probably 45 round one. But, I mean, this is really cool, you know. I mean, the Mauser is such a great gun in Origins. And the fact that we're getting, you know, the Mauser only, you know, it's going to have this massive magazine. That's pretty cool. Flamethrower is cool. Now, this is something I wasn't sure about. It's back here. But the Death Machine is back. Where's that? I don't know, but the death machine's back. That's something I never I just didn't think it was gonna probably return. I just didn't expect it, you know. But hey, that's better. that's back and that's great, you know. Um they definitely showed off a lot of shotguns, trench guns. Yeah, we have, you know, perks returning. That's cool. See, that's the thing. I wasn't sure what was going on with perks, because you know they've made such a big deal about, you know, the vapors, elixir, you know, elixirs, whatever. But yeah, perks are coming back, so that's good. Weasel's hat. This is interesting. We're going to have to look into that for storyline purposes. Yeah, the game looks great. There's so many new areas. The whole paper thing, I didn't really remember that being a thing about the dead, but I know people were talking about it. And you guys see that right here? PhD. Treyarch's trolling us again. Good old Treyarch. I just want to make sure that's good. Treyarch's trolling us again. You know, it's it was in Black Ops 2. Everyone was mad about it, and... You know, they just have to throw that in again, but I don't know what to say. This is a fantastic trailer. Probably one of the best ones we've saw. I know I said that about the previous Blood of the Dead trailer, but wow. Okay, I was hyped for this game already, but this trailer just made me 200 times more hyped. I mean, this is insane. Like, they knocked it out of the park with this. Like, the guns, everything, the new maps... This is a cool scene right here. I mean, everything about this, you know? And they definitely took some inspiration from the Garag, Krovy. I don't think, I think it might, no, it wasn't a gameplay trailer. It was like this. It was like a couple days before Garag Krovy released on PlayStation. They did something similar to this. It was an amazing trailer. Everyone was talking about storyline wise because pretty much the um, Ultimus Nikolai kills off all the Primus characters. And everyone was speculating about it. And this is like what's happening in this kind of. You know, we have our characters, they, you know, die in a few scenes. So I believe it's probably like, if we go, if you watch my Garage Krovey video from about two years ago or so, pretty much why I said, as I said that, this is them going to the same spot multiple times and just failing every time. And, you know, the one we play in the game is when they actually complete the cycle or whatever. I believe that's probably what's happening in this. It makes most sense, you know. But who knows what the trailer, they always have something up their sleeve, but Wow. Let me just say, that was a fantastic trailer. Character models are kind of weird right there, but what a great trailer. This is definitely the best one I've ever saw in Call of Duty Zombies ever. And wait, is that, is it Black Cat? Wall by? No. Wow. That was amazing. <laughs> best trailer I ever saw for zombies, and I'm definitely up for this game. So yeah, sorry about the live stream issues. I know my little 
ether not ethernet but my little wireless thing right now and that's why there's probably gonna be two separate live streams when this thing goes live but i'll delete those all combined they'll make a video and yeah everything will be nice and cool but yeah great trailer this is amazing best zombie trailer we've had and yeah it's already wednesday you know we get the game on friday and everything's gonna be amazing and this game there's no doubt in my mind now that zombies is gonna be great i mean i was worried just because i wasn't too sure about nine but there's no doubt in my mind this is going to be the best Zombies game we've had. If they keep this up during the DLC and they don't blow it like World War II did, this is going to be an amazing game. Let me just tell you that. But yeah, overall, this is the best trailer I've ever saw for Zombies, even though I said that about the last Will of the Dead trailer we got about two months ago. But yeah, this is amazing, and this is going to be an absolutely amazing game. So yeah, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Tell me in the comments below what you think about this, and I'll see you next one. Peace.